You need to watch this if you think one invention can only be good or bad. DDT saved millions, then threatened everything. Let's break down the rise and fall of the world's most controversial insecticide. Back in the 1940s, a Swiss chemist named Paul Mueller discovered DDT, an insect killer so powerful, it wiped out deadly pests and saved crops across the globe. It even won Mueller a Nobel Prize, and during World War II, DDT was sprayed on troops and civilians, stopping malaria and typhus in their tracks. For decades, DDT was everywhere on farms, in homes, and in entire communities. Yields soared, lives were saved. But then, the cracks started to show. DDT doesn't break down easily. It sticks around, in soil, water, plants, animals, and even us. Birds like bald eagles and falcons stopped hatching because their eggshells got too thin. Fish and bees died off, and DDT built up in the bodies of people and wildlife everywhere. Author Rachel Carson sounded the alarm in her book, Silent Spring, sparking a global environmental movement. Science confirmed the fears. DDT was wrecking ecosystems and threatening health. By the 1970s, bans swept the world. Today, DDT is outlawed for farming almost everywhere, but some countries still use it strictly for malaria control under tight rules. DDT's legacy? Sometimes, the tools that save us can also put everything at risk. The lesson? Science can be a hero, but it needs a conscience.